Hmm. A real strong strumming guitar to open us up. That's really building us up now. This has a real emo vibe to it. The auto tune is pretty clear, but I think it sort of adds to the track in a way. I sort of like the ticking there, it sort of like picks up a little. I don't need anything else but to just gaze into your eyes. How entrancing. Now we have a higher register. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty then. This is an interesting direction Lil Yachty is taking his craft in. I do really like the infectious guitar riff, but there's just not enough energy that really gives it a kick, you know? It's just too downbeat for my liking. I am interested to see where Lil Boat is going from here. Hmm. A stripped down guitar. Awesome. The passage of time is just killing him, you know? Woo! The harmonizing sounds very nice. They have a magic record. That's the sound we know and love. And I just love how the guitar just slams right in there as the chorus is just coming in. Woo! Imagine Dragons with this slamming guitar solo. Dang. Imagine Dragons really surprised me with this track. The pre-chorus is just killer. Dan Reynolds' voice is just anthematic and shows so much anguish at the loss of his loved one. And the guitar solo really threw me for a loop. I don't know if you can call the band top 40 hit makers these days, but I wouldn't mind this one getting huge. Hmm. A delicate piano to start us off. There's a subtle violin composition in the background that you can hear. We're escalating right now, baby. Ooh, we got a stadium-like anthem here. I just love the melancholic tone this song is going for. Ooh, that drumming. Yes, I love that drumming. Everything just has a nice echo to it. It's just so, so amazing. Love the guitar work, it's just shredding, and it's absolutely killing it right now. I think the drum work is my favorite element of this track. There's just so much life to it. All right, Luke, you have my attention. This was a great solo cut from Luke Hemmings. It's just so contemplative with its lyrical substance as he's trying to navigate his life moving forward. The production is just grand and epic in its sound. Thank God concerts are slowly returning because Luke is gonna have a blast performing this live. Let's react to Post Malone's Motley Crew. Okay, we got a little bit of a tropical-like beat going on. Okay, we got a hard beat going on right now. I love it whenever Post Malone sings with such intensity, you know? He's just so good at it. Sort of soothing on the pre-chorus. Post Malone's hitting those high notes. Let's go. That's the furious. There you have it. This was a fine enough Post Malone song. I do like some of the vocal work he does in certain parts of the track, and I like how he invokes certain action movies such as Fast and Furious and John Wick, but it's not very distinguishable from his other work, and I'm probably gonna forget it very soon. This is one of those moments where I'll have to play the real Motley Crew. Let's react to Billie Eilish's NDA. Ooh, an electric guitar sound to build us up. Billie Eilish's sort of whispering kind of vocals on this sort of percussion is very, very nice. Ooh, that stream work. Very haunting. Billy, the way you use that auto-tune, dang! It's so spooky with its atmosphere. The layered vocals. <laughs> Billy Eilish just mastered the art of layered vocals. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Too much to say about this record. The haunted guitar plucking, the auto-tune, the DJ record scratches, it all fits together perfectly in a song where Billie Eilish goes into real detail about the struggles she's had while being a famous pop star when she's only in her teenage years. Like, I'm very curious to hear this album now. Let's react to BTS's Permission to Dance. Right out of the gate, this jumpy little piano. I like that subtle little beat right there, the little drumming. I like the violin section right there as I go right into the chorus. Yeah, it's like 
we should have our, our right to have fun, you know? Like, come on, baby. I love how epic the pre-chorus is, you know, it's just lifting you up right into the air. The way the violins and the piano just work in the unison is just amazing. The clapping effects are very nicely mixed. I love how the beat descends right there. Woo! The boys are just pumping out these slick dance songs like they're nothing. Like, I love how they toy with the violins. I love the jumpy beats. They sound great in harmony as per usual. Like, they have my permission to dance all the way up to number one. <laughs> Let's react to Chelsea Cutler's Walking Away. I like that plucking guitar. I love the elongated piano keys. Understanding how relationships go sometimes. Ooh, we got a bit of an electric guitar coming in. I remember hearing a snippet of this part on her TikTok channel. Ooh. I love that percussion sound. And it just all cuts out as we get to the second chorus. On top of all this, Chelsea Cutler has like some very good vocals. Like, I just love to hear her sing. Woo! While I like the guitar work on this record, what I really enjoy is the songwriting, where Chelsea reflects on a failing relationship and how some things just naturally fizzle out. I especially love how the chorus changes after each verse. Chelsea, I am very down to hear that new album. Let's react to Dan and Shay's Good Things. Ooh, such a joyous piano to open us up. Ooh, the harmonizing. This kind of reminds me of We Own the Night by The Wanted. Like it has the same like musical structure. You got a little bit of a high note right there. <laughs> the acoustic guitar sounds pretty nice. What are those electronic sounds in the background? It seems kind of strange to listen to. There you have it. With this record, I did enjoy some of the piano work and Dan and Shay's vocals are very pleasant to listen to. But other than that, I just wasn't feeling it as much. The lyrical substance was pretty bland. I didn't like some of the electronic sounds at certain points. Needless to say, this was not that much of a good thing. Let's react to Normani's Wild Side featuring Cardi B. There's kind of like a dripping sound effect along with the intense beat. Ooh, I like how she does that in the background. Ooh, that harmonizing, I just love it. Ooh, I love the high notes that she's hidden right there. Very nice to listen to. It has been a while, Normani, like... Cardi just cannot help herself. Ooh. I like how she's getting all tense right there. We slowly fade away and the track comes to a close. This was a very cool way for Namani to make her return. The track has a lot of old school R&B elements. She hits her notes with such grace. As per usual, Cardi lets on the silly yet naughty rap verse. I'm very curious to see where Namani has cooking up next because I'm gonna be first in line. Let's react to Lord's Stoned at the Nail Salon. Very graceful singing with some guitar strumming. Glorious harmonizing. This guitar work is so brilliant too. Like Jack Antonoff, I see you. That's true, it's very true. You can just hear the melancholy in her voice when she hits those high notes. And there's some piano right there, very subtle, and we fade out. I was pretty surprised that this was just a slow guitar ballad, another, another big sounding pop anthem, but nonetheless, I was still very impressed. Lord gives us some very intricate details about her life and her state of mind as she experiences growing pains. Man, solar power is starting to sound really good now. Let's react to Lil Nas X's Industry Baby, featuring Jack Harlow. Of course, he has to start it off with horns. It's slamming. He's just slamming with that trap beat. Oh, I can hear the thumping marching band drums. He ain't gonna run for nothing. He's a man. Ugh, God, Jack, I love your lyricism. 
Come on, baby. You have no idea how much stock I have invested in Jack Harlow. Like, I want him to be one of the biggest rap stars of the decade. He knows how to write a song. He knows how to write a song. The track plays with the brass and the percussion so well along with the trap beat. Lil Nas X's humor is just delightful as always. And of course, Jack has to swoop in and give us some awesome rhymes. Like, I wanted something special for my two G's in hip hop, and I was not let down. Let's react to Camila Cabello's Don't Go Yet. Woo! Spanish guitar to start us off, baby. She's very sensual with this vocal performance. <laughs> Clapping effects, I'm digging them. trumpets she is an expert at adding in trumpets oh she's doing a little bit of a uh, rapping if you can call it that oh the drum work right there is just immaculate here we go i'm digging this chanting part right here it's amazing she really let those vocals flex on the bridge right there damn I was astonished by this track. Like the guitar work is off the chain. The chanting in the back is genius and it has so much energy going for it. Like Camila has embraced the Latin scene harder than Shawn Mendes and I am absolutely living for it. Let's react to Dallas K's Try Again featuring Lauv. Woo! Right out of the gate, we got some good vocals from Lauv. There's a very soothing atmosphere we have going on. The snapping effects are pretty distinct. Ooh, nice, subtle thumping. I hear it. Ooh. Come on, give me that build up. Come on. Ooh. Okay. Got a little bit of a good drop going on. I can also hear the piano going on in the background. And I think it really adds to the sentimentality that they're aiming for. You can hear the guitar as well. And I think it's pretty nice. Ooh. Nice little sound effect to close us out. And there you have it. This was a pretty decent record. I liked the instrumentation at certain points. The percussion was very good. I really enjoyed the somber atmosphere. And of course, Lava knocks it out of the park with those killer vocals. If I'm ever feeling sad that my ex-lover has left me, I'll know exactly what to play. Let's react to Alec and John Legend's In My Mind. Ooh, that piano, very intense. Ooh, John Legend giving us that good baritone voice. I love it. Seems that John Legend is really singing about companionship this time around. Ooh, that was pretty smooth with the drop. If you listen very closely, there's a string section going on. Delicate little detail. You can tell that John Legend really put together that piano composition himself. And I like that percussion right before the drop. Very, very well put together. Alrighty then. With this song, the beats were fine at certain points, but overall, I just wasn't feeling it that much. John Legend and his piano really carried the tune, if I gotta be honest, and I may not be seeing myself returning to it that much. Let's react to Silk Sonic Skate. So much musical flavor right as we open up. The electric guitar paired with his voice is just killing me. I'm trying to roll, I'm trying to ride. I'm on freaking skates. This is the best roller rink song since Doja Cat's Say So. <laughs> Should smell better than a barbecue. My boys are just coming in with these one-liners. <laughs> if singing could kill, their vocals would pierce right through my heart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like, what am I supposed to even say to this? Bruno and Anderson have amazing charisma. They spit one-liners like it's freaking rapid fire. And that's before you even get to the enriching production filled with jumpy guitar riffs, high-pitched violins, and progressive drum work. Now that Happier Than Ever has come out, I know the next anticipated album release.